Hey guys, Harley Day Rider back at you here in the 2011 Harley Electric Light, Southwestern Pennsylvania. This is a special shout out here to Sam Smith today. We're going to be uh, giving him a little treat back from what he's been giving us lately. And I think he knows what's coming up here. So I talked to him about this. And we're going to turn right here. And here it is. It's the Covered Bridge. It's called Creeps Covered Bridge Creps. I can't see with the shield on. And this is it. It's just it's a really small covered bridge. Nothing like uh, you're used to there, that's for sure, Sam. Here, here, get a closer look. I have no idea where this road goes. That's for sure. There you go. It's K-R-E-P-P-S Bridge. Just a small covered bridge. Uh, probably, I would imagine, it was built by the landowners here, the farmers. Just to cover this little uh, stream up. It's not really a creek. It's more of a stream. Let's take a ride over. I don't know where the road goes. I like to go up the road. But I'm not sure where the road goes. Uh, I hate to get up there and be a farm up there with a wild pack of dogs. But, uh... This is the first covered bridge, Sam, I wanted to show you. A little pounding here. I've seen people go out this road before, so I guess we'll figure out where it goes. Take a little ride out this way. Like I said, I don't know where it goes. I've seen cars going out here and coming back through here. I don't think there's going to be much of a place for me to turn around. But uh, hopefully it doesn't turn into a dirt road. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting into here. Well, it goes somewhere. And it is a pretty crappy road, let me tell you that. Uh, it goes out through some rolling farmlands, I guess. I don't know exactly where it heads to. I think I've been on this road before, maybe. I'm not sure. Well, we'll take a ride up here a little ways. We'll be brave. I wanted to bring the car out here first and kind of investigate this road before I brought the bike on it. It's a pretty shitty road. Wow. This is bullshit. This is like that road I rode before over there. But I imagine... I would imagine it ties in with the road I just came through on top of the hill here. I guess. I don't know for sure. But anyway, that is the covered bridge back there. Everything is telling me in my mind and in my gut to turn around, Jack. Everything's saying, turn around, Jack. Let's turn around here. Turn around. Turn around. Not a good place to turn around here. Not really what's behind me here. Let's do a nine point turn. Oh yeah. All right. It's a trouble when you get the bigger bikes, huh, guys? They're heavier, a little bit harder to turn around. They don't just spin around in the middle of the road there. We'll go back down this road. I don't want to ride all the way up there. That's a really crappy road. This is like that road I took you on there about a week ago. Um, yeah. 
Not a cool road at all. There's probably some lady coming down there with her dog saying, Get the biker! I hope the hell not. Be hard to outrun them on this road. Anyway, if your gut tells you to turn around, turn your bike around and go back the other way. So we are taking you back down to the bridge I'm going to dub the Sam Smith Bridge. He does shoot a lot of covered bridges. He rides for hours in his state to find covered bridges. This is about the only piece of blacktop right here. See, they fool you. They got this nice black top right here. It's like, yeah, that looks really good road. And you get up there, you're like, back there, you're like, holy crap, that was a bad road. So we'll give you a view of the bridge from this side. I came down here once with my 35 millimeter camera and got some really nice pictures. I'm going to have to try to find those. They should be on the computer somewhere. So there it is. The little, little covered bridge. And in this in this field right here, here to my left and to my to my left and to my right, this is my left, that's my right. They um they have a festival every year where they have uh, you know all kinds of stuff down here. Uh, a lot of food, a lot of crafts. They call them the covered bridge festivals. So they're pretty neat. But there it is, the covered bridge. Let's get out of here. Across the bridge. I think we'll go back this way. All right, so that was our little covered bridge tour little backwoods here of Pennsylvania. See my buddy out here a minute ago mowing the lawn. I don't know where he went. Ah, I see him down there. He heard me. He's one of our uh, phys ed teachers at school. Well, anyway, that was my little rendition of the covered bridge. Sorry I couldn't take up that road, but that was just too bad. Too bad to ride on. You know, I would rather save my tires and my backside for better roads. Yeah, I just didn't enjoy that at all. Oh, well. It is what it is, and it can't be no more. So we'll go back up here, so I'm going to head back to the homestead. I'm cooking some uh, stuffed peppers tonight for dinner, so I got to start getting that together. Got to find a recipe on the uh, the interwebs. The old interwebs is good for everything. You can find out how to tune your motorcycle, how to change your tires, change your spark plugs, and cook your dinner, all with a click of the mouse. That's pretty cool. Wonderful invention. Too bad I didn't keep my company some 20 years ago. We had an internet business. Yeah, yeah, about, well, about 15 years ago, I guess. Too bad we didn't keep that little business. We had a dial-up internet service, and we were the first in, in this city where I live. I live in the city of, it's called Washington, Pennsylvania. I live on the outskirts, of course, but we owned an internet company, the, the, the first dial-up internet company. We ran it for three years, and we like, everybody we talked to said, why do we need a web page? I said, well, need a web page because to promote your business it's good nah, I don't need a web page now nah, look at it holy heck you can't you can't look at anything without seeing a www www everything's on the interwebs it's horrible you know you just don't know what you have until you have it and uh, or until you lose it I guess you know that goes with everything relationships 
girlfriends, boyfriends, spouses, uh, houses, cars, motorcycles, you know. You buy a new motorcycle, you trade the old one in, you're like, man, I love that old bike. And uh, But you don't have it anymore, it's gone. So that's, that's what happens. All right, guys, well, that's my wisdom for the day. I hope you enjoyed the little covered bridge uh, ride here. I'll talk to you on the next video. Hopefully I'll be out tomorrow ride. Tomorrow's Sunday. Today is Saturday, uh, October the something. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a, uh, have a great weekend. But I should be back uh, with some videos maybe tomorrow. Or Monday at some point. So I should be riding to work Monday. It's going to be nice. Take care everybody. Harley Day Rider down and out. Southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye bye for now.